This feels absolutely surreal, but welcome to the last video from my old craft room. And welcome to the first video from my new craft room. Today we are going to travel through time. We are going to say goodbye to this craft room and we are going to say hello to my new craft room. Somehow simultaneously. I also want to take the chance to say a very big sorry to all of you who have asked for a tour through this room. The reasons why I can't do that anymore are probably obvious. <laughs> I am really sorry that I couldn't fulfill that wish anymore, but you can be sure that there will come a tour of my new room as soon as it's going to be finished. The last thing I want to do in my old craft room here is going to happen among this chaos here on my desk. I want to create the first spread in this journal today, which I made to document my move slash the construction site in my new apartment. You can find a playlist linked below this video with all of the videos I have already published about this journal and where you can watch how this came to life. So let's go into this and let's do this together. While you have watched some videos on my channel I had prepared for you, I was really busy. On April 18th I went to the train station here in the city where I am at the moment in Austria and I traveled by train to the city where I will live in the future and I traveled to my new apartment. This is just such a crazy piece of paper I mean, it's just a piece from my train ticket, but this feels so, so crazy. This has so much worth to me. I can't even explain that and bring that into words. This is just, just amazing. So when I came to the city where my new apartment is, that was the first time I visited that city. <laughs> That is strange, I know. I have never been in that city before. Don't ask me, okay? Don't ask. <laughs> it's it's an adventure and it is probably the biggest adventure I could do in my life. But it feels really, 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 really like the right decision. And many of you have discussed about what city it is yeah, and where I will live in the future and perhaps if you have like stalked my other videos a little bit you have seen this and you could already read the name of the city where I'm going to live in the future so the city is called Ulm in Germany if you plan to move to a city where you have never been before don't freak your freak <laughs> just watch some YouTube videos where people walk through that city you have chosen and you can be sure when you then visit the city for the first time you know where everything is. <laughs> I did it exactly like that. I watched some videos and then when I came there for the first time I really felt like I was there, I have been there before. That was really helpful. And now I'm asking myself, am I an idiot or what? I have this cool window here and I've just sewn around here. I mean, that's there's this window from the envelope. Why haven't I put something in here? I mean, what the heck am I? I am I stupid or what? I found these coins in my new apartment. And why why the heck haven't I thought about that? Why why oh my goodness, I want to put those in here. How to manage that now? <sighs> Let's make an operation. Oh no, it will fall down here. 
I will place it here and then I will sew over here with my sewing machine so that it can't fall to the very bottom or slide to the very bottom. Now it's 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 a little perforated and it's a little flimsy but I'm hoping that it still can work. So oh, when I reached Ulm for the very first time I of course saw the house where my new apartment is also for the first time and that is why I want to include this little photo here to my page here. Somewhere here in my collage for the buffet <laughs> there must be, I know that, a tiny piece of something that looks like a little house. Here, this is a part of or a piece of the packaging and I have saved this because this looks like a little house and I want to include that in my collage and I think I also want to take either one of my plants I have stamped with some weird objects or one of the more abstract things I have made hmm. this is probably a little bit big isn't it? I also have in mind that I want to include something else, hmm. which is very special. <laughs> Show you that in a second. <laughs> this covers a lot of this piece of wallpaper which I found in my bathroom. But what about this? Or even this. Changed the direction of this little banner here. This would be cute as well if I would cut it there. Because this thing, it is a little <laughs> bit unproportional somehow. This is so, so like, it's like invisible there. I don't really like that. Oh. Okay, so perhaps we have to do something else first. <clears throat> I have found this piece of plastic in the new apartment. And uh, when I was sitting in the evening on the couch with my landlord, I suddenly saw that this piece, and it came exactly out from the apartment like it is. I haven't manipulated this in... Uh, anyway and I saw that this looks somehow like this house because here's the roof <laughs> can you see that here these little guys are the roof and at the same time the windows one two three four five six seven eight and here this is my apartment one two three four five six seven eight here are eight windows as well here's this little antenna <laughs> which is here as well and here is the garage, which you can see here. So I thought I only have to take some uh, black paint or so, so that I can make some details here. And then I can have the house on this little plastic piece. And I want to include that here somehow as well. <clears throat> so perhaps I should paint this first and then decide where it has to go. And then decide if I want to use this piece here as well or not. So I will just paint these eight uh, rectangles here because that was what I saw as the windows when I saw this piece of plastic and I'm ignoring the proportion. Normally they are, the windows are way closer to each other and there's more space on the left, um, um, left and on the left and the right next to the windows but you know I will ignore that. I will just do it like this. Where the heck do I have to place this piece so that you can see what I thought when I did this? So that the connection is there somehow.
what if I use this page instead of the other page? Can that be a solution? Yeah, um, I think I like this way, way better. But I want to include either such a plant or some of the other black and white elements I made. I think this is one of those spreads where you think this is so ugly. And then when you glue it down and look at it a few days later, you are happy about it. I'm really hoping that, because I will glue this down now. And while I'm gluing this down, you can travel through time. And you can travel to my new craft room and watch the very first video <laughs> I already recorded for you. <laughs> so have fun with that. Hi there, this is Luisa Heinzel and this is the first video from my new craft room. If I look around here, I can't believe that this is my new room, but it is. <laughs> this looks not so bad, but I'm just um, removing the floor from the room with this heavy machine I've just shown you. So I will quickly turn the camera around so that you... <laughs> oh, that is really close that you can see how it looks here right there <laughs> a second ago there was my camera standing on a tiny tripod and i'm sitting on the floor here and this whole stuff has to go and for that i use this machine here by the way <laughs> I, I have used this machine for the very first time in my life i have the feeling that it also um you know, mixed my brain a little bit. As you can see, I could make some progress here. So this is what it looks like when the floor is removed. And why am I showing you this? And why the heck am I sitting here? I mean, <laughs> I have work to do, obviously. But when I removed this, I found something and I wanted to share that with you. And I, I'm so sorry, this is so hard. This little pile of, of these things is not so sturdy. I have the feeling that my camera is falling off. I'm so sorry. I think now it works. Uh, yes, I am here uh, for about a week. So uh, I went through this room several times, as you can imagine. And I also tried to decide which of the rooms of this new apartment shall become my craft room. And I couldn't really decide for that because all of the rooms are really, really nice. They are really light and compared to my caravan where I was before, here it is really, really much light. So I thought, oh my goodness, I'm totally overwhelmed about the light in the room. <laughs> so I couldn't decide which of those rooms should be my craft room because they are all so gorgeous and I love them. So I went through this room several times and what I found here today, I haven't seen before yeah so i went through the room but i haven't seen what i have seen today in one of the corners there i found this little really really old coin i can't read anything anymore but this must be really 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 old it also has some some rusty things and some patina on it i'll show you this in a second in detail but what i also found is this little button here and I found several different buttons, but only in this room. When I found these, um, and there are more of them, I went through the other rooms to see if in the corners there are more buttons. So look here, this is even coated with some linen or, or other fabric, I don't know. But look how intact this is. It's really, really crazy. And then I went around and I went through the other rooms to see if there are more buttons. But only in this room there are these buttons. And I think 
somehow that's a sign that this shall become my craft room. And I mean buttons. I love buttons and I have tons of buttons from my grandma and my mom and I have a whole, whole um, cupboard with drawers with buttons. I think I have, I think 10,000 buttons is not enough. Um, the number is not enough to count what I have. And I also found, oh my goodness, what is the English word for this? This is one of these little click clack buttons, do you know? Where you, where you have a second piece here and then you can press this and it holds together then. And I also found, and that is really, really, really crazy, some obviously extremely old needles. These are three of them, but there are more. So I thought I have to make a video here today. So this is then the first project I'm doing in this craft room. Yeah. So can we please make a little <laughs> red cross in the calendar <laughs> to remember that in a few years? Because do you know what? I also have taken a journal with me to, to come here and to yeah, write some things down. So um, I originally haven't planned to make videos in this stage of the apartment because I thought it's it's completely not possible but um, I have taken the journal with me I will show you this in detail in a second uh, Dani if you are watching you have to be really strong now because I have to use your journal in this room and in this little mess here but I think um, what is junk journaling I mean if we don't use chances like this and take a journal and make something out of it then how how and when shall we do it and what is junk journaling i think it is exactly that no matter in which situation you are you can take what you have and you can do something with it i don't know what is going to happen in this journal here today and now i have no idea i have <laughs> i have some some really really strange things here with me and that are all things I could find in the house here. Meaning I have a pen, I have some thread and I have my buttons. So I want to see if I can make something out of that. And of course I have the needles I found on the floor. And I want to see if I can make something in my journal, if I can really like create something in the journal, even if you know <laughs> this is not a craft room at all yeah so this is a construction site obviously but i want to know if i can do something in here without my usual supplies and without my craft room which is obviously filled with supplies that i normally use so i want to see if i can do something in here so i will try to find a place now where I can put the camera and where I can put my channel so that we can see if we can do something with the things I found and I of course will show you those in detail as well and I also want to tell you something about this channel which a really really dear friend of mine has made and I have purchased ooh, purchased this in her Etsy shop so um, yeah I will try to, try to solve the problem with the camera and then we will see in a second before I turn the camera, um, I just realized that I have forgotten to tell you something just for your imagination. Um, the people who lived in this apartment before they m moved out, they had something on top of this. Yeah, so that means these little, so just that you understand what I'm talking it really really crazy so this is let's say the first layer of the floor this little wood there yeah these little strips of wood i don't know the english uh, word but you can see what it is and on that there is this stuff here and that is what i have removed meaning this stuff yeah so this was on the wood and on here there was um how do you say that this PVC floor thing? Yes, such a, you know, a plastic floor with a pattern. So that means the things I have found, the buttons and also the needles I found, have been 
below the third layer. Yeah, so that means there was this wood, then this, and then the needles and the buttons like this. And over here, there was the floor that the people who lived here uh, before had there. Meaning the people who have lived be before they moved here, I mean, <laughs> the people who lived here before they moved out, they walked over those needles and the buttons every single day without, obviously, without knowing that those things have been below the first layer of their floor. But I can't handle that in my brain because when they moved in, they must have seen that everywhere there are needles and buttons on the floor. That is somehow weird, isn't it? I mean, when you move into a new apartment, then you clean the floor and then you put like a carpet or PVC, if that is the right word, or vinyl, what is the, the English word? V vinyl, vinyl, is that an English word? Or like wood, uh, you could put that onto the floor, of course, but you clean that. Don't you? I mean, they. why haven't they seen all of those needles? That They have been there. Otherwise, I couldn't uh, find them here now. <laughs> I, I can't understand that. That is something that I wanted to let you know before I start what I want to do here because that I think it's, it's really... Uh, I can't handle that with my brain. It's somehow unimaginable. Is that a word? <laughs> so let's do this. <sighs> so this is the place where I was sitting a second ago. Here's my heavy machine. And here are my supplies. And there's this little pile where my uh, tripod was a, while, a second ago. And here are my little treasures. Hopefully I can pick them out from this dirt here. But I thought before I, oh, I'm so sorry, before I start um, putting these into my journal and think about what I could do, with this, I thought I want to go over the floor here a little closer with my eyes. This is just a piece of wood to see if I can find more of these needles. So just that you can imagine how I found them. They were laying in between of this trash here. But I think I found obviously every single of those needles um, this is a little bit like walking along a beach or so what is that oh look oh i'm so sorry i'm sorry for those noises i'm old <laughs> what is this oh look i have no idea what that oh that could be the second part of this no it isn't that that i thought it's the second part of this uh, special clip button but this is probably from looks like from a machine or something but that is really interesting so let's put that here as well so I will go really close to the floor with my eyes to see if I can find more of those needles or something else perhaps oh here is look here is a little rusted nail this is obviously also not from the people who have lived here before me. Uh, I mean, I can't say that I'm living here already, but you know what I mean. Because this is like really old and the nails which have been in the walls were uh, like silver and new. Yeah, So I can definitely say that this is from, from the people before those people who have lived here before me. And the buttons I also found in this little slot here. So this is directly on the wall here, as you can see where the floor ends. And in this little slot there, there have been tons of those, I mean, not tons, but, you know, a lot of those buttons. But I guess that I have already picked them up uh, all from, from this slot. Unfortunately, here... Someone has already cleaned the floor. That is not so good for our project. Hmm. This is just a little dübel from the wall. You know, what is the English word for dübel? 
uh, where you put a screw in to put a shelf or something to the wall. Yeah, I think that's all. Oh, that is sad. <laughs> I, I thought I can find a few more things. But we are going to use what we have, as always. <laughs> and we are happy with what we found. Here is another bigger nail. This came from, from there as well. Here have been some wooden pieces in the wall. We have removed them and then these nails came out from there. I also have a really rusty one where I thought this could be nice to use in the journal. So okay, then let's to go to the craft table. I have made myself a little table. <laughs> Ta-da! Here you go. Uh, this is my table. It is not not very sturdy, but that is, you know, uh, what is the English word? Ergonomic. Is, is that an English word? You know, it has this function that it can move and that is very good for your back. <laughs> and I want to put my tripod onto this thing here and then perhaps I can film overhead. So let's see if that can work. Okay, so here we go. My new craft table. This is just great. So I have this little thing here, just that I don't lose my treasures that I've found. So here is everything I have found in the room. And I just have this little ballpoint pen. That is everything I could find for journaling. And I have this little white thread here. I have not found that in this apartment, but you know, thread that should be possible to find do you know what i mean but um, of course you could use some glue or something if you are in a situation like i am here at the moment but i don't have glue so i thought to attach these little things i want to try to use this thread i don't know how yet but it must be possible somehow because i want to do this <laughs> so then here i have my little journal which i bought from dani at i feel crafty too i will link her social media down below and why have I bought this journal I um, thought this is really beautiful on the one hand and on the other hand I bought this because she's a really good friend of mine and I wanted to support her shop when I bought this so that's why I have it so why am I telling you that I haven't bought this um, with a special focus on what I want to do in here yeah I just bought it because I wanted to support her and I thought there will come the right day when I know um, for what I want to use this journal and when I came here and when I packed my suitcase I thought I take this journal because now it's the right time and um, Dani also was um, a person who was really supportive and a really 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 good friend in my situation with the move here and uh, we are in a daily contact and you know we talk daily and she's a really big um, how do you say that um, help for me in emotion wise at the moment so um, Dani if you see this thank, thank you very much for being there for me um, and yeah, so uh, I can't show you the first pages here because there are some personal notes also about my finances. Is that a word? You know, money stuff that I have um, put in here because uh, originally I wanted to use this journal for like documenting um, the main things and also have some space for making to do lists. To organize everything so this was never meant to become like a creative journaling journal do you know what I mean so I thought here for example um, I wanted to have my notes in one place so I thought I use this journal for that here I have uh, written the measurements from my existing furniture so that I know how big the single furnitures are when I come here to measure everything in the rooms here to decide where I want to put my furnitures that I will take uh, with me to this place here. And that was the 
purpose of this journal. That was what I wanted to do in this journal. But now, obviously, the things are changing with this situation that I have here at the moment. So this journal, it's just so beautiful. She has put so much love into this journal and she, she puts so much love into every single of her journals. It's She's one of those, like, you know, emotional journalers somehow. She is... She, she wouldn't do things that um, don't have a personal meaning to her. Do you know what I mean? And that is really, really cool. And because of that, I think it's it's also important that I came to this conclusion that I want to use this also for something else and not not just for making notes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if I would have used it only for making notes, I think this journal would be something that has a worth and it would be my journal as well, made by her. But being creative in a journal is something that has, like, you know, somehow another level. Do you know what I mean? But perhaps it's also not so good if you put, like, weight to one or the other thing that you could do with the journal making notes about a move and having like you know um numbers even if it's numbers about money or so yeah that is for me the same worth that a journal can get with that with such a content um it's the same like if you would be like totally creative with a ton of mediums in here yeah so that makes no difference for me because this is my journal and this is a part of my life and it tells a part of, of my story. Yeah, no matter what I write in here, it tells a part of, of my story. And yeah, I, I don't know. Perhaps this is like a little bit too uh, philosophic. I don't know. Um, I'm not totally sure if Dani has a flip through of this uh, journal on her channel. As you can see, I can't go through every single detail. Then this video would be totally too long. But um, if I can find a flip through, I will link that down below for you, of course, if there's one available on her channel. And if not, and if you want to see this whole journal, you know, a flip through of this journal, then write a comment. Of course, I could do that in a separate video and show you this amazing journal in detail. And what I just um, <laughs> realized when I, I just recorded this whole thing, what I just say here already in German, and when I did that, I found out that Dani has used a technique that she has obviously seen in one of my videos. This is obviously made on um, glossy photo paper with oxide sprays. And then she has removed parts of the spray so that then like the ink color comes through and the oxidation is removed. And then she gets this cool effect. And here's obviously some texture paste through a stencil on top that looks really, really cool. I guess that this is translucent texture paste by Ranger. First, I thought it's the uh, grid paste, but it's too not gritty enough. <laughs> it has some texture somehow. Because of that, I was a little confused in the first moment, but I think she has either overheated this so that there came some bubbles and then she has let that cool down you know then you can get some texture as well or perhaps she has put the paste through the stencil and then like um dabbed over it a little bit i don't really know but this looks really cool and i'm so happy that she has um, put that in here and that i have this here now because i i can remember when we have talked about uh this technique and when I made the video about this technique we have talked about that for several days and she was like oh my goodness I have to try that out and then she obviously did that and now it's here and that is really cool and what is this this looks like like a coffee stain made with a glass or something or a cup but why is this so matte is this oxide spray or something as well that looks really interesting okay uh, yeah, please let me know if you want to see a flip through of the whole journal. Um, if yes, write a comment. And I want to see where we can put those needles uh, because I have to find a solution how I can attach them without any glue. I mean, I could 
just poke them through some of the ephemera pieces. Of course, that would be a possibility. But I thought I want to, like, you know, showcase them somehow. And I just think here was um, a triple pocket or something with some tickets in it. And I thought, here, look. Oh, it's even one, two, three, four, I think five pockets. Perhaps we could wrap some of the thread around here and then put the needles in there. I think that could be a good idea. And then I would have some journaling space here. Yeah, that is no problem. You can read this. This is German and this is oh, not so important, but my, my uh, right leg is sleeping. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Ich komme ein bisschen näher. Oh God, I've just decided to um, put my camera a little lower and put this little thing directly to my knees because my my leg was sleeping. My leg is now there, and the other leg is below this plate. So <laughs> hopefully, oh my goodness, I'm so old. Oh, hopefully, you can manage to to do this. Perhaps I can put this, wait, wait a second, like this, this could work. Now something is poking into my ass, but I, I do everything for you. <laughs> Some texture here. Oh, so I've decided for this page, let's do this. Oh, I'm just realizing I can't use this pocket. I've just recorded already the German part of the video. I will not show you what I have done because, you know, I don't want to uh, show you what I have done. We want to make it together. But I just wanted to explain why I don't use this page. Um, because I just realized uh, I have put some needles to one of these tickets and when I put that into this pocket, then this looks nice, but I don't have any space here to journal about what happened in this room and I can't journal about this story that happened at this day of my life because here I have some notes and here I can't show you that. Here are some personal things, so I can't use the other page as well. Yeah, So I have decided that I uh, want to go with this uh, pocket here, which I originally thought would be good. Yeah, but Perhaps you, you just take the first thing that you want yeah, and that you see that's hmm, in the most cases the best uh, here it's better to use this pocket because then I have journaling space here yeah so that's the reason why I will use this page instead of the other page I want to take mm, this ticket here oh what's written here oh look <laughs> with a gentle nature in our hearts oh my goodness you can only Read that when you take this out. That is cute. Huh. That is that is really cute. And <laughs> with a gentle nature in our hearts. In this case, nature means somehow like mm, oh, how can I translate that? Like like I mean <laughs> it is already English, but does that mean having a good character? Yes, I think so. And why can't I bring this back in here? I think this is an important thing for for this project. Because, look, um, I want to do something. I want to um, showcase the needles on here. So I want to do something that you can see those needles later on at first glance when you open this book and flip to this page. So, so I want to tear the tiniest little bit into this ticket because I have no glue, um, so that I can't glue my thread on here. And then I wanted to take the thread, and I thought it should be possible to just put this in here and just tear a little bit, and not not tear, um, push, pull a little bit, so that this goes in here, and then it is like, you know, it's not, not totally secure, but secure enough to be able to wrap this around this ticket so that I have something like, yeah, is this then a needle ticket or what is this? I mean, you know those needle books, don't you? And then this is 
probably a needle ticket. <laughs> so let's wrap this around here several times so that we get a nice like material here where we can then put the needles in. And here on the end I just tear the thread. I'm a lucky girl, it's not so sturdy. <laughs> so that I then can bend this a little bit to be able to take the end of the thread here and then put this through here. Um, perhaps I can take my little nail tool here <laughs> to get this through here. Just like this. And then I can, you know, it's not really a knot, but I think this should be sturdy enough to hold it in place. And later on, when I have everything here and my craft supplies here, then I can always take a little bit of glue to secure this thread. But for the moment, this is totally okay for me. So let's then perhaps take first this little needle here with this yellow head. And I want to have them in here. I want to poke them through this thread stuff. <laughs> I mean, this is just so simple. I, I feel a little weird, but this is somehow special to me because imagine the person who has owned these needles, he or she has worked with these. Yeah, perhaps it, it was like a drop as a sewer and, and the person made a living from what he or she has done with the needles or perhaps it was a hobby or something no matter what it was i want to showcase my respect for these old things and I, i'm just realizing uh the person who has used these needles is probably um she, he or she has already probably passed away i i guess because this is just so old um, and there will come the day when this journal will be somewhere and I will have passed away and someone perhaps finds this journal with the treasures of someone who I don't know and perhaps the person who finds the journal doesn't even know me. Perhaps, yeah, you know, it's life. What shall I say? <laughs> that could happen. And I think that is somehow um, emotional to, to realize that. And on the other hand, it's, it's even more special to know that perhaps someday when we have to go and leave this world, someone else will find this and perhaps will hmm, respect this as well. <laughs> Here's the one I made in the... German part of the video. This is the ticket from the other pocket, so that's why this looks so different. I've, you know, I, you've heard that I've just changed my mind. But I think, uh, I mean, which pocket I wanted to use. But I think this is cool. I'm just, I mean, the different size of the tickets, but I'm just realizing that this is really, hmm. I definitely have to put some glue or something on here later so that these can't fall out. I don't want to hurt myself. When I go through this genre, definitely not. But for the moment, and to keep them here, I think it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> so then I have these buttons here, and also my little coin, and these nails. Um, I have a few more of these here on my, my uh, things. What is this in English? I don't know. And I just thought, um, of course, I could now um, take one of my needles I have left over because there are some which are really, really sharp and I could poke through a page and then try to fiddle the thread th through the hole and through the button to like sew it on um, like by hand without a fitting needle. But to be honest, my knee and my whole leg 
feel so weird at the moment. I, I realize that I can't sit here anymore because I get pain in my my whole body. And on the other hand, I also think, um, why shall I put so much effort into something where I already know that it doesn't work so well because imagine I would make a hole with such a needle I would have to fiddle the thread through the hole with my hand if the hole was too small it wouldn't work and it would drive me crazy if the hole was too big it could happen that the paper tears and I want to avoid that as you can imagine so I thought I will search for, oh here Oh, this is perfect. We have this page here and, <laughs> and these pockets here. I just wanted to say I will search for a pocket where I can put these things in and then later on, I mean, I, mean, I can um, use this to just store these things and later on I can take them out and when I have my craft supplies here again, I can always take a needle and a thread and uh, sew these things on. Like, like I would normally do that yeah and like in a professional way do you know what I mean <laughs> so that nothing can't happen and that it can't tear I just realized <laughs> if Danny would have put some bulb pins or something similar to the pages that would be really cool for the uh, would have been really cool for the buttons to attach so uh, Danny where are the bulb pins <laughs> of course I don't mean that bad but um, if you want to make a journal for yourself include some like bulb pins or safety pins or something like that if um, here were page tabs with bulb pins I could just open the pin put the button over that and then it would hang here like a little dangle that would be just perfect but I think this is also wonderful since my whole body is like sleeping this leg I to be honest I can't feel my leg anymore from here to to there where it is here my leg goes here <laughs> below my table um, and I can't I can't feel it anymore so I have to stand up now immediately I don't know if I can manage that but I will see that after stopping the camera but what I'm trying to say is I will journal about this experience here and for that I will of course use my really uh, you know stylish ballpoint pen here <laughs> so I will try to get off from this floor now and I'm hoping that this was yeah it, it was an unusual video um, but I hope that you could find some inspiration in this as well and I hope we will see you the next time. I don't know what's going to happen the next time but uh, yeah let's let's make a little surprise for you and for me. So see you the next time. Bye bye! And then last but not least I want to do something and I quickly want to mention that so that you are not confused. You have seen this journal here in the video footage I have just shown you and Originally, I wanted to use this as a notebook. Then it happened that I created this page. You've just seen that. And then after that, I've decided to make this journal here. But when I made this, I had no idea that I would make the other journal. But I want this memory in my other journal, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these tickets out here where I have my needles and, you know, this cool thing here. I have already made a copy of this page so that I, I can in include that easily in my new journal and then this will stay a notebook and it will not be something where I create something, you know, like I, I will not be creative in this journal, but I will take this as it was planned and that is as a notebook. But I just wanted to mention that so that you are not confused. So <clears throat> I will take my collage for the buffet. I have to organize this a little bit. <laughs> and then I will put this in here so that I have it at hand when I create the next page in my journal. I hope you could get some inspiration from this video. I think I have to get friend with this page. I'm, I'm a little bit confused about this because this is definitely not what I was expecting. It is so different to what I normally do in my channels. But I think with a memory journal like this is, this is perhaps normal <laughs> that it looks like this and a little bit strange. I have no idea. So <laughs> I will probably also <clears throat> journal on the back of this page or on the paper I have included here. I don't know that yet. I want to first let this um, dry and now I have to 
pack the rest of my boxes and make everything ready because tomorrow I will be picked up with my boxes and then the next step of the renovation is going to happen. So I'm a little nervous. I don't have time anymore, so I have to go. And I hope that you have a very creative day. And of course, I'm hoping that we will see the next time. Bye bye.